Hello, Tarot Mom here. Welcome to your daily tarot reading. I ask you to choose the stone that draws you, the one that your gut would pick, and we'll begin. Okay, for those of you who chose the green stone, the green aventurine, we have the Queen of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Temperance Angel. All right. Well, you've got your Major Arcana. I'll put it right there in the middle. Okay. Excellent. Well, there might be something that you're, you feel like you're at a fork in the road, or there's a decision. There's something on your mind. You're trying to make up your mind about it. The Two of Swords. So that's an intellectual exercise. It could also be plan A and plan B. Sometimes we can't make that decision yet. You know, that person has a blindfold, so she's just kind of hanging out there. There's some tension around it. You know, she's not able to completely relax because she'd love to be able to make the decision. But the temperance angel is saying, you know what? You're behaving wisely. You're behaving temperately. It's all right to make a move this way and see how that goes or wait till you get this information or wait till that happens and you'll you'll have a clearer picture of what you need to do it's okay sometimes you know especially when we feel change coming it, it we get impatient it's hard but the temperance angel is saying you know what you're behaving very wisely and I, i'm helping you to do that you're behaving with caution and that's okay so the temperance angel is also about balancing the emotion. It's, it's about taking things gradually. The queen of wands. Now the queen of wands is a mature but still fiery person. So she likes to know where she's going and go. You know, <laughs> she has her wand in her hand. She has her direction. She has her purpose. She's going to get it done. There may be an internal, there, may, there might be an internal struggle for you. Where, you know, you prefer this, you prefer that. Let's go. Let's do this thing. But the temperance angel and the two of swords, that's kind of saying, okay, but would it be wise to just go? Or would it be better to wait till I have more information or move forward gradually? So <laughs> there may be a bit of an internal struggle there. But you know what? The temperance angel is helping you to be balanced and you know that temperance angel is quite lovely. Sometimes we want to do things quickly. We, we're, or we're very impatient to see a problem taken care of. But sudden, sudden moves in our lives can be quite disruptive and troubling and difficult and stressful. So sometimes I feel like we're asking source for less stress but we're asking source for quick change. And I don't know that we can have both. So sometimes the gradual nature, the wise and temperate nature of change helps us to um, keep our emotional balance, helps us to, to um, have emotional fulfillment in our life, some peace. So there's that too in this reading. Well, that's a terrific reading. I feel like very nice energy there. Okay, for those of you who chose this agate, this beautiful big agate, we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Queen of Swords, we have the Four of Coins. So no major arcana here. They're fine. Everybody's fine in this with the four, Ten of Cups. It's like the people that are closest to you or in your household, there's basically an emotional, we're okay. You know, it, regardless of what else goes on, there's a real emotional, we're okay. Sometimes that Ten of Cups comes when there's a really nice time, actually, for you and the people you care about. There's a home in the background. There's sometimes this is a, a, new, a new home or a new beginning. But it's very pleasant, and it's a completion card. So it's sort of like it's established. The Queen of Swords, very smart woman or man. Remember, gender is interchangeable. 
knows her mind, relies on her intellect because it's good. Good at planning, good at speaking, good at writing. Now the Queen of Swords has her plan and she, and I, when I said good at writing, I felt a bunch of you go, well, that's not me. <laughs> well, are you sure? You know, sometimes people have really, um, you know, they can convey their, their um, meaning in words really quite well. But writing or speaking anyway, the Queen of Swords, it's a reassuring card because it's telling you you have a good plan, you have a good ability to plan, you have a good intellect, you're logical. Now, this Four of Coins, see, these can be different people in your life as well. And the Four of Coins can be you or somebody else feeling a little less secure for some reason, a feeling like your financial security or your health or something like that, your security is threatened. Um, but it isn't. You're hanging on to it. You're all right. Or whoever this is in your life. Sometimes people can hang on so tightly that their arms aren't open to receive what source has to bring too. So that person's hanging on just a little too tight, a little too worried about it. So the queen, in that, if that's you, your queen of swords, um, your inner queen of swords will help you to see this very logically and say, okay, let's take emotion out of this. Maybe you even need to write, do some journaling or a pros and cons list or something like that. Let's take emotion out of this and let's really analyze it. And that might help you to feel more secure, to be able to relax more and, and realize, okay, I actually do have a good plan. I've got, you know, the Queen of Swords, she also has enough discipline. She's going to follow her plan. Things are fine. And also things are all right. Things are all right. So I like this reading. I like this reading. It's minor arcana, but it's maybe it would be a good day to either talk some things through or write some things out um, or sit and think for a little while about looking at it logically. And that brings more rest because everything really is okay. It will be okay. For those of you who chose this orange gold stone, we have two major arcana, the lover's card, the emperor, and the Knight of Wands. Interesting cards together, right? Okay, so the Knight of Wands can be somebody who is um, probably not entirely mature. Maybe this is a younger person, not not a young, not a teenager or anything, but you know, somebody who who um, is on his or her way to. A really complete understanding of what their main priority is in life right now they're 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 somebody who can be kind of fiery um, and not entirely mature so sometimes too fiery um, moving forward in a certain direction sure they're going the right way but the knight of wands isn't always seeing the whole picture sometimes they're going based a little too much on their passion their desire to um, kind of pare things down, simplify things. I'm going this way. I'm doing this. This feels like where I need to be. Um, so whoever that Knight of Wands is in your life, if that has to do with a love relationship, the Emperor comes in. There may be some real Emperor energy like, well, this is right. This is wrong. This makes sense. This doesn't make sense. You know, the Emperor kind of lays down the law and says, I'm not sure exactly where this is headed, but I know this, you know, I know this, this won't work. I know that's right. See, the emperor is all about right and wrong, but also uh, what's in the best interest of the whole. He's the protective father of the tarot. And so he is all about that. And he's all about um, being honest about cause and effect too. He's practical. So. The, um, there might be a, a sense of somebody laying down the law. And it might have to do in a love relationship. And this knight of wands might not like it. Because he's gung-ho in this other direction. So there can be some of that. But know that the major arcana are with you in both of these areas. Also, the emperor can come in when there's a take charge energy. So maybe there's a real take charge energy coming up in you 
where you're just saying, okay, I've got to, um, I feel like this is a time in my life when I do have to take charge and make decisions. And that's just the facts. So the lover's card though is a positive card. It's saying there is some real love there. For some of you, this is about a relationship that isn't here yet, but it will be coming in. And you need to, do, to get some good take charge energy to get there. You know, like not passively just waiting, but taking charge, being logical about it. You know, like, well, I'm not going to meet Mr. or Mrs. Wright sitting here on the couch. You know, it's just not going to happen. Or I'm not going to meet Mr. Or Mrs. Wright or Mrs. Wright um, being shy. So instead, I'm going to do something that follows my passion. I'm going to have a little fire. I'm going to charge forward. I don't know where all the chips are going to fall, but I'm charging forward. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah, so very interesting. For some of you, this is uh, a lover coming in. And this lover may look like a knight of wands, whether male or female. Kind of passionate, kind of fiery. Not somebody who is um, mature in years, but also not immature in years, you know. So these cards can mean a lot of different things. So you're going to have to choose from this interpretation what fits for you. All right. Now, I like to do a golden nugget card at the end for further clarification if anybody wants it. And we've got the Knight of Cups. Okay. So the Knight of Cups brings a good message, puts his best foot forward or her best foot forward can be a suitor, can be someone interested in you, can be somebody who is charming, may not, you know, show all of his or her cards at, at once, you know, wants to make a good impression. So whoever this is in your life, or if this is you in your life, I think there's a pleasant um, message around it. This can simply reflect a new endeavor that is bringing emotional fulfillment to you, some emotional pleasantness that is maturing. It can also reflect that too, but it's a pleasant card. Once in a while, the Knight of Cups, you have to watch the Knight of Cups a little because um, not everything is put on the table with the Knight of Cups. You know, the Knight of Cups is not entirely mature, so can use his or her powers of um, Oh, reading people's emotions, understanding them, emotional skill, social skill, uh, ability to charm, can use that um, for purposes that are hidden. So you have to be a little careful with the Knight of Cups if it's a person. So the, just a lot of different meanings with this one too. It's going to 